Welcome to day two of Atomic IBD Uncut. It is Tuesday 16th of April um, and actually quite sunny in Edinburgh. I'm about to start the afternoon clinic. But today I want to talk about goals of therapy. And to start very simply, there are two real goals of therapy for inflammatory bowel disease. One, induce remission, and two, maintain remission. Or even simpler, get a patient well and then keep them well. And actually, this simplicity, I think, still largely holds true today. And for many newly diagnosed patients with inflammatory bowel disease, and quite a lot of flaring patients, we can achieve this pretty reliably now with a lot of therapies that we have. And we can achieve this with rapidly effective drugs that are not just effective in inducing remission, getting someone well, but also in maintaining remission, keeping someone well for the long term. But we have a better framework now, and that is using the treat to target paradigm as most recently laid out by the Stride 2 Consortium. So this internationally agreed approach sets out short-term, intermediate-term, and long-term goals that get us through short-term targets, which are symptomatic response, get someone feeling well, that's what we all want in the short term, to intermediate targets, which are symptomatic remission, complete normalization of symptoms, plus normalization of biomarkers. So here we're looking for a normalization of the CRP and the fecal calprotectin. And moreover, we're starting to move into the longer term goals, which are mucosal healing, healing the intestine completely. We're looking for complete mucosal healing, but also importantly, normalization of quality of life and absence of disability. And we are moving towards histologic healing and ulcerative colitis and transmural healing with patients with Crohn's disease. So here you can see short-term, intermediate-term and long-term goals moving from symptomatic response to remission to normalization of biomarkers, mucosal healing and normalization of quality of life and absence of disability. And we'll set in that framework our monitoring tools, so symptoms, bloods, stool tests, endoscopy, biopsies, imaging, including intestinal ultrasound, but also how our therapies will work. And I think through this framework, I can sit with a newly diagnosed patient with inflammatory bowel disease in the clinic and be very optimistic that with the therapeutic strategies that we have, with the treatments that are available, both medical treatments and others, that we can achieve this in a significant number of our patients today. We do need to modify slightly for those people that have had inflammatory bowel disease for the long term. And as we talk in future videos about the consequences of long-term poorly controlled and undertreated inflammatory bowel disease, historically, of course, because therapies were just not so plentiful, not so effective, then we need to perhaps modify what we're doing. So that's it for today. Glad to get the positive feedback from yesterday. I'm keeping a note of all the comments and the suggestions for videos. But until tomorrow, stay safe and be well.